Hi everybody, it's Chris here. <coughs> Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I did say at the end of the giveaway that the next video will be a project, but just before I do my next project video, I thought I'd just let you know that I've I've got a new lathe. It's a, a MIDI lathe uh, from Axminster. So I was meant to be getting it after Christmas, but it was on offer just before, and the price had come down from. £279 to 229 uh, and it's just gone back up to 299 so uh, you know I got in there really at the, at the best time so what I'd like to do is just uh, tell you all about it and the things that came with it and its, its specs and its capabilities so what I'll do is uh, I'll get the camera off the tripod and then uh, hopefully do good enough camera work for you to have a look at my new lathe. So I'll just turn this off now folks and I'll be back in a second. Okay everybody I'm here now at the lathe it's an Axminster AH1218 variable speed so the lathe has a 12 inch capacity for bowls so that's more than adequate for me now and it's got 18 inch between centers, although you can get the optional bed extension that'll uh, pretty much probably double the capacity. Uh, it's, let's have a feel up here. It's got an index in there. I think it's probably something like 24, I think, 24 indexing positions. So if you want to do fluting or earring holders and clocks and things like that it comes in handy uh, it's got this opening hatch here so you can get access to the the pulleys and the belt at the top it's got a hand wheel there at the, at the end and it's hollow for knocking out the uh, drive spurs and, and stuff and then at the bottom I don't know if I can if you can see in there at all but plenty of access for changing the motor pulleys and that's just held in by that spring plunger that's the knockout bar it's uh, from what I understand it's pretty much a, a common way of slackening the motor off here and then you lift the motor up with this handle change your ratios and then you just reverse the process it's got a six inch tool rest on the banjo, the banjo is really nice and smooth. Uh, the tool rest, uh, I find it a bit short and I've been falling off it, so I'm having a longer one made up by my sister who owns uh, an engineering company. My well, sister in law, sorry. So uh, she's making one, one up for me. It came supplied with a number two Morse taper four pronged spur. It also came supplied with revolving tail centre. I've had to buy the Axminster Clubman SK80 80mm chuck and jaw set. That was a package deal. So it's your standard dovetail jaws. I've purchased a worm screw for the chuck. It came supplied with a 75mm faceplate. Uh, came supplied with a chuck key, obviously. What else? This is something I've purchased for pen turning. It's the Axminster Mandrel Saver. Now, Bob at RJB Wood Turning and Mike Walt have mentioned these. So, instead of compressing the mandrel itself and potentially sort of like bowing it, this will apply pressure just to the bushings and the blanks and apply that pressure to the, the headstock. So it should keep your mandrel safe. So I've yet to use that. And here is a number two Morse taper pen mandrel that I've just bought. So I'm all, I'm all good to go with pens there. I don't know if you can see down here, we have the speed control knob speeds operate via the two ratios on the belt from 500 to 4080 so it's got plenty of uh, speed 
and obviously you've got your your on and your off there what's this up here now have a feel uh, that's the the wheel for the tail stock it's a self ejecting center which is really nice and I do believe that it's uh, etched on the quill up to two inches oh well <laughs> fat load of use that is to me <laughs> uh, so yeah the tail stock operates like a lot of other ones you've got your locking lever for the quill there and further down you've got the handle it's all really nice and smooth really flat cast iron bed uh, so yeah I'm really pleased with it so what I'm going to do is I'll tidy all this all these accessories off off the bed and uh, I'll turn the machine on and let you have a listen I've just uh, taken everything off and I've moved the tail stock up so hopefully I'll be able to show you that everything now I can't push that any further so I presume that those tips have lined up and they have so everything's very straight straight out of the box so what I'll just do now is I'll just turn it on and let you listen to how quiet it is I'm gonna turn it up now very smooth and quiet and that's it now full speed and I am on the fastest belt so fastest pulley so there you go so I'm really really happy with it nice and smooth and quiet so great oh one thing I forgot to mention is it's got a tool a tool rack at the back for accessories and bits and bobs so that's good and one other thing I've had to do actually is because I've got this new lathe I've had to give the garage a bit of a tidy up well rearrange it so over the over on that side is my other lathe which I have no intention of selling because it's a great lathe it's you know it's not let me down it hasn't got any performance issues the only thing that I didn't really like about it was you know its capacity over the bed you know it only had a very small swing so I wanted something a bit more user friendly so this has got bigger capacity over the bed it's got the variable speed and things like the indexing facility in the spindle lock you know so anyway what I've actually done is I've moved my bench into the middle of the garage now if I want to use the record power lathe I can just slot down that side and for using the axe minster obviously I'm down this side the pillar drill does get me bearings my pillar drill is set up here now on the end and obviously I've still got my grinder there and everything and one other little addition here is it's a Veritas center finder so that's securely screwed to the bench now what I used to have to do was use a traditional plastic center finder with a, with, with a marking knife or a sharp nail to score the lines now the scoring it worked but it wasn't brilliant and it took me quite a while to get used to it but with this obviously you just put your your stock round or square or you know irregular doesn't matter you just put it in here smack it on top with a mallet and it and it leaves a really really good groove you know more than adequate for for me having no sight and you're on it's very easy to feel and if you've got if you're using square stock you just put it in tap turn it once tap and you get the cross and for irregular stock you know you'll do it the four times four positions like you would and it'll 
leave the the smaller square in the middle of the stock and then I can just use a brad all and put a point there so massive a massive improvement for me that over a normal Santa finder so that's pretty much it I've got two lathes now uh, one's gonna be for this one is gonna be great for bowls and goblets and everything else and the long one will come in handy for obviously longer items it's, it's still geared up I'm gonna have it geared up for doing pens uh, permanently really but just in case I've got something sat on there and I need to do a pen for Mike Newman at the speed of sight that's why I bought the, the pen mandrel for this lathe and that way I shouldn't be stopped even if I'm doing something else I've always got the option so there you have it folks that's that's the lathe so I'll just put you back on the tripod and uh, I'll be back in a sec so there you have it folks a bit of a change around some new toys which I'm really glad about uh, so before I go I'd like to just give a mention to a, a chap that I've just got speaking to by the name well he, he's called Drew and he comes from the Isle of Man now Drew is uh, he's in his 80s and he's blind he's, re he's registered blind and he's just ordered his, his first lathe this week and chuck and all his accessories so I've been speaking to him on the phone so he's really excited about that and he says you know it's, it's partly because of me and listening to my videos that have you know I've inspired him to take up a new hobby you know so I'd, I'd like to wish him all the best you know good on you Drew you know you'll, you'll have you know lots of fun you know and I'm sure you'll be careful and just take your time and so I'd like to take this opportunity to you know wish you all the best through so good on you mate and I'll speak to you soon uh, hello to all my subscribers uh, the next project will definitely be wood turning related I just wanted to show you around the new lathe so again thank you to all my subscribers and the people who come along and listen and please remember to like share and subscribe my videos so thank you very much and i shall speak to you very soon bye